A Menasha man has built his own version of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall in his front yard. Fox 11's Alex Ronaldo got a first-hand look at it. And Alex, what can you tell us about it? Well, Michelle, Steve Conto calls his creation the Northeast Wisconsin Vietnam Memorial. It contains 242 names of the servicemen who died from 15 area counties. The memorial itself grew out of a much larger project. For Steve Conto, these are not just labels on plywood. That's a name. That's a person. That's a story that was denied a full life. All of the names are remembered on Kanto's replica of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. He says though decades have passed, the loss is palpable. The tears are still real. The heartbreak is still real. That, that doesn't matter. The years are irrelevant. Kanto was too young to fight in the Vietnam War, but his stepbrother did. I knew there was a war going on, but I didn't know the magnitude. Kanto said learning about the magnitude later prompted him to serve in the Navy during the Gulf War. The memories also spurred a big project. Twelve years ago, he started compiling the names and grave sites of all the Wisconsin servicemen who died in Vietnam. It's called the Final Bridge Project. It's a bridge between their name on the wall and their final resting place. Kanto says he has more than 1,200 names on his list. He's also visited about 700 of the graves. I've uh, cleaned the site. Uh, uh, trim the grass, wash the markers. Kanto found the information by researching on the web, then talking to schools, VFW halls, and family members. And from that, I found out about the stories about them. Heart wrenching stories, beautiful stories. Kanto tells us that's why he built this wall to share those stories and to let visitors, family, and comrades pay their respects. And that's what Memorial Day is about, is remembering that, that ultimate sacrifice. Now, the memorial will be up through next Tuesday, possibly next Thursday, at Kanto's home on Elmwood Drive in Menasha. Anyone is welcome to stop by anytime and pay their respects. Reporting in the Valley Newsroom, Alex Ranallo, Fox 11 News.